So I just received this Darth Maul action figure in the mail yesterday and I have to say after opening it and just looking at the package and comparing it to the original Black Series Darth Maul, this is definitely one of the best action figures I think that's came out in the Black Series in a long time. Um, it uses a lot of new parts and it uses a lot of old parts too from the original Darth Maul. But I uh, always found this particular type of Maul iconic. Um, and if you guys ever seen, there's a fan film that came out, and it's probably been almost 20 years now, if not already, called Labyrinth of the Evil. And the shirtless mall always reminds me of that particular fan film. And I used to watch that as a kid all the time. And to this day, I still think it's one of the best Star Wars fan films ever made. So in a way, it's kind of nice to, even though this is based off of old EU uh, source material, that's what it always reminds me of when I see this particular mole. So anyways, we'll take a look at the package. Of course, this is the new comic book Black Series line that's based off of. It's good to be able to... And this package is really nice. I think I might actually keep this one. Of course, Darth Maul, Sith Apprentice. 50th anniversary Lucasfilm, I suppose. Timeline of events. And you can open it up. Of course, that's where the figure is. Have a great image of Darth Maul there. And to this day, I haven't read the source material that this mole is actually based on. I suppose in the future I will have to get around to that. I have read Darth Maul Shadowhunter and the Phantom Menace book uh, several years ago, and I really enjoyed those. So anyway, let's take a look at the action figure. Uh, like I said, it utilizes both new and old parts. Uh, basically anything from the waist up is new and waist down is borrowed from the original Darth Maul and I do have the original that came out back in 2013 I'll get around to reviewing that eventually so lots of good detail on him uh, this face definitely looks a lot more like him than the original. Like he has that sinister look to him. Of course you could tell this is a older Black Series style because it has the pins showing. I think they did a pretty good job with the paint detail on this. The tattoos really stand out. Of course, like I've said in previous reviews, uh, the Black Series, unfortunately, is kind of light on accessories these days. And so he only comes with his lightsaber. Uh, you can't connect them together. I always like having it separate because, like I said, it reminds me of the fan film back in the day. Uh, but I do think they did pretty good with the paint on the lightsaber there. Red's a good color. It's very vibrant. And as far as his articulation, it's pretty good in the head for the most part. Uh, mostly side to side and up and down. The shoulders are really good as well. The elbows are as well. Can get past 90 degrees. It's always a bonus. This wrist goes in and out. And this one goes in and out as well. And that's okay with me. 
waist is pretty good. And of course, the hips are really good. And since it has that cut there, you can get him with some dynamic poses, maybe a kick. Of course, the knees are very good. It has that double hinge there. And the ankles are really good too. Very fluid movement. And yeah, I mean, there really isn't a whole lot else to tell about it. Um, this is the only comic action figure in the Black Series I've gotten so far. Mo most of them in the line are just repaints and uh, kit bashes of other figurines. This is probably the most unique one out of all of them that's been released so far. Uh, at the time of this video, they just announced a few more, like the Infinity's Vader and a new Leia and a new Stormtrooper. I forget what his name is. Uh, but this one's definitely the better one out of all of them that have been released. Um, we had the Luke, Jackson, and... Trying to think what the fourth one was. There was a Maul, Luke, Jackson, and then I forget what the fourth one was. I'm pretty sure there was a fourth one that came out as well. But this one's definitely the highlight of the group that came out. Uh, would I recommend this action figure? I absolutely would. Uh, if you had to choose between this Maul or the original, definitely go with this one. Um, I did, ch you can purchase this on most online retailers right now. Uh, I got my particular one from Entertainment Earth. Uh, he's also on Amazon for a really good price. I might link that down in the description for you. If you're interested, you can get him around $30 on Amazon at the time of this video. Uh, so like I said, between the original or this one, definitely go with this one. The face looks a lot better. The face printing is really good. And if you really want a more movie accurate mall, definitely get the original as well if you can find it for a good price. Otherwise, maybe you could just put a robe on this one and try to make them as accurate as possible. But anyways, I greatly appreciate everyone for watching. Hope you find you found some value out of this review and stay tuned for more. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do. And anyways, take care.